YouTube. It's five fifty-five a.m. I gotta get up and go to work here, but thought I would share some thoughts right quick. I decided to start my own bricklink store. After watching a lot of videos, Pop Block Shop, Ralph's Bricks, um, Brick Arena, Just a Brick in the Bucket, a lot of the guys put really good information out there, and I discovered Bricklink back in January of uh, 2022. Just got back in the Lego. It's early, guys. Sorry if I don't sound the greatest. And decided after placing some orders that I would open my own store because I want to share my love of Lego with everybody else too. And I know how daunting it can be to find the parts you want. So I decided what the hey. And uh, placed a few orders back in that time from various places. And uh, after, like I said, decided it was time to open my own store. So I'm creating this channel mainly for myself right now, kind of document my journey. Um, that's about it probably right now. I mean, it'll probably, it'll probably grow. I don't expect it to grow as much as everybody else's store has. Right now, I just got some basic terms of service up, things like that. So, here we go. Let's let's start this journey. The never-ending task of labeling drawers. Not doing it the normal method. I find this to work a little bit more economical for me. And uh, at this time, this is my current favorite drawer set to use. I get about 39 drawers for 30 bucks on those. And I can pick up a local no shipping. I would like to take this time to thank Ralph at Ralph's Bricks for his video on YouTube about these nifty little bowls here that came from Target. Uh, I liked his review. I liked the price. And thanks, Ralph, for putting out content that helps the rest of us with our Brinklink store. So, an update on that, by the way. Um, we will be... submit. We have submitted the rest of our paperwork here necessary to start the store. Just kind of looking over my table for the moment while I'm talking about this. And... We'll wait and see what we got back. Oh, yeah. Trains. So, when I first started trying to set up my Bricklink store. I wasn't very familiar with a lot of the colors, the, the weirder ones like dark turquoise and, and medium nougat. So as, as I came across new sets that had actual verified colors, I would match them to some of the blocks I already had to create my own little color chart. Well, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's probably not the worst. I like it. I think it's going to work out great. So, I'll make color chart. Alright. Getting closer to opening the Bricklink store. We have a little over 5,000 items in 286 lots. In 43 categories. Total value of $527.26 as of right now. I've still got a bunch of used parts to go through and some new parts to upload still. But this will get me started. Uh, all I've got to do is a few more little things paperwork wise. And we should be good to go. Let me see here. Gnome's Brickyard. Almost there. Another day. Store still not open. But I'm sitting here at my sorting station. Just getting ready to upload some 
more parts over there to uh, the store and hopefully we'll get it open soon. Sunday afternoon, still haven't heard anything back from Bricklink. Of course, that was just yesterday, so I don't I don't expect to hear anything back for some time. But while I'm waiting, might as well do some more work. Um, going through these pick a brick cups that I got from the Lego store the other day, got a lot of good elements there. Um, I got I got two cups. This one I'm where I started. I did find some trans blue tiles. Didn't find a lot. They were in a miscellaneous bin, so I had to dig one of those out one by one. It took a long time. Some people got tired of waiting on me, so I got some. Some's better than none. Um, one of the elements that I thought was very interesting was these. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It's not gonna focus. I think it's olive. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, it's not going to focus for me. But I, I thought these were interesting, and I picked a bunch of those up. So, just kind of parting out these cups right quick. Going to get those put into brick store and um, try to get them uploaded. i get my messy work table here. But on we go. Okay, so I just went through and... Counted up cup at number one and got all my element counts. Nothing super big. I just wanted to get some new variety parts of my store. These cups usually run about $15.50 if you bring your own cup. So I've got some of my own and some people are saying that these cups aren't worthy, really worth it anymore. Um, so let me just show you that right there. $93 on a six month average just for that one cup alone. The winner here is actually these parts right here. They're selling at 38 cents a pop. That just a little bit I got there, the 70 I got is almost $30 right there. I'm impressed. I really thought these trans tiles right here would be the winner. Which don't be wrong, I mean, $13 worth at uh, 10 cents a pop, I got 135 of them. But, there's the winner. So, here's cup two. Just counted all the pieces and let's, uh, don't have a value yet on them. So, let's run the numbers and see what it says. Okay, six month average. And it says we've been updated. $53.76. I say that's pretty good for a $15.50 cup. Kind of happy with All that. Right. Store still closed on a Sunday. But I just did a parts upload. We are now at 7,054 items in 362 lots. Pretty good start. Figured I would share this right quick. This is my find for the day. It's a uh, Lego Boba Fett. It's the one with the stubbled face. I think he's from the Skiff. Um, I found him in a certain resale shop for, I think I paid about eight bucks because they were having a 33% off sale and I get an extra 10% on tat usually. And, um, uh, because he's worth about $25 right now. So, yay. Find of the day. I mean, I also found this um, Audi. It's complete for the most part, I think. Um, missing that piece right there. The logo on the front's not exactly straight either. Um... I think I paid about eight bucks for this too, or less. Maybe about seven. It's a little dirty. See some of the dirt in there. Uh, complete. Usually worth about used $22. Um, parted out, used about 30 So, 
I might wind up eventually parting this out. I don't know. I may let it sit on the shelf a little bit longer. But those are my two finds for the day. Pretty nice. Just got a package today. Looks like another Goodwill order, I think. That's what I ordered here. And as you can tell right off the bat, lots of black pieces. Oh, man. And this looks like it's in here upside down. So I'm going to have to open it from the other side. Fun. Just flipped the box over just now. And sure enough, this is the side where the bag is opened. So. Yeah. Interesting looking door. Rock Raiders. Is that even Lego? That's a good question. I'll have to look at that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so lots of pieces to go through. I think it's another eight, ten pounds of Lego. Um, let's see what we have here. Going to have to do some research on this part. It says Lego on every one of these studs. And they look pretty good. But then when I flip it over, it says patent pending. It's only got a zero one there and a one there. I'm not sure this is actually Lego. It might be fake. But it does say Lego on the studs, so... Curious. Okay, just an update after looking through that box. I pulled out a few choice pieces. Um, the ones I thought might be worth a little something. Like the Bionicle masks here. They're usually worth a little something. I've, I've seen this slope before in another video. And I thought maybe were worth something. I don't know why these pictures aren't coming up. But that's a magnet. And that's almost that's that's worth a little over three dollars. I went ahead and set it at three though. And um a few other pieces here. There's another one somewhere in here. Um there it is. Doesn't have a picture of it right now for some reason, but there it is. That piece alone used was a little over five bucks. I was shocked. Um so just with those few little choice pieces out of there, we're looking at about $21 just for those few pieces. And I still got a whole bunch in that box to go through. So, yay. I think we did really good with this lot.